Sure. We conducted a multi-center retrospective study of 400 patients um, who were HIV infected who were admitted to the hospital um, and ultimately found that there were 363 errors um, that occurred in 203 patients. So of those, um, about 100 had at least two errors. And so we looked for various different risk factors um, to make them more likely or less likely to have errors. I think two things did for the most part, one being We've streamlined HIV therapy a little bit, um, but we're still seeing high rates of errors. Um, in our study, upwards of about 50% of patients experienced an error, despite some of them, or, or at least a, a large cohort of them, having single drug therapy or single tablet regimens. Um, but the other thing that was kind of surprising, um, and certainly a limitation of the study, is how few pharmacist interventions there were. There are only about 25 pharmacist interventions total. Now, of course, that plays with documentation, um, but certainly something to consider going forward in terms of getting pharmacist faces and names out there a little bit more for being able to reconcile those errors a little bit better.